Elsa here. This is the only time to where she wants any love from people is whenever she is pregnant. She's not due until the end of March, but I wanted to show y'all. So we've put out um, a couple of mineral uh, licks for the does here over the last month. Um, it's a good way, especially in the last month of pregnancy, for them to get minerals and stuff. And some of them really like it and they go to town on it. And they have little brown noses. Mm-hmm. Like Elsa. <laughs> um, if they have too much of it, it can give them... Sorry for the dog in the background. It can give them the runs. She's not one of them. But in uh, late winter, like from January to March, is a prime time for your goats to possibly get um, lice or mites. Now, usually you can't see mites, you can see lice, um, and one thing is like if they're scratching a lot, which you can tell with Elsa because she's a boar goat and she's got white fur and everything to where with having licked all the mineral, she has scratched and, and tried to scratch all up and down. So these are some of the signs whenever you see this um, in your goats and everything. To where they're just constantly scratching um or you see that um like with kit kat here she's been scratching here and here that could just be dry skin which they can get at this time of year or it could be an indicator that you might have lice or mites and so what we do is we use silence which i'll show y'all okay so we use silence this is our empty bottle but it is um, like I think it's one cc per 25 pounds and you um, put it on externally you get a syringe you just squeeze here it comes take two <laughs> but anyway you squeeze the bottle it comes up here it comes into this container it has a measurement on here but for the goats it's one cc per 25 pounds you get a syringe you measure out so um, and it's really easy. You can get the, the right calculations on um, your uh, calculator and everything. So if you have a 10-pound goat, you can calculate it to where you get the right amount. Um, if you have a, you know, obviously if you have a 100-pound goat, it's going to be 4 cc's. But you just put it, um, you just draw it out on the syringe and then you just put it on the back of their um, backs. But usually what we do is we get it close to their necks so that it's not on the back to where they're not um, having any uh, chance of trying to lick it off, which I'll demonstrate um, later on on how you put this on because I do need to put it on some of them. And uh, but anyway, so those are some of the things with late winter. Some of the things to check out. Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal with lights lice and mites um if your goats have them but it can um create a problem if they have um like a if they're just overrun with them um you know uh and so that's that's the only thing is to where you would just want to keep that in check keep that in mind <laughs> queenie here playing so um Okay, so what I was trying to say here, because I was getting really distracted by the goats and by the dog, is to where it's 1 cc per 25 pounds on the silence. You put it on the back of their necks, at the at their skin, like you would um, your flea and tick medicine for your dogs and cats. If they have the lice, you want to repeat that in 7 to 10 days. And then, um, but lice and mites it's just like um with fleas and ticks with dogs and cats is if they have an abundance of them overran with them you need to make sure and have um get them treated because it can cause some anemia uh if you let it go on for too long all right guys so i'm just out here minding my own business checking on the herd um and well okay queenie that's inappropriate. Anyway, uh, so Queenie is either in heat, 
which is okay. She's not supposed to be bred. Or Tilly is in heat, which she's not showing signs, which she's, that would not be a good thing because she's supposed to be bred. Now, you see this little behavior to where the, and yeah, you're going to see my toes. Sorry. Um, okay, so this behavior right here. Her dad, Huckleberry, which that's her sister, Raspberry. She's so cute. Anyway, for some reason, um, Huckleberry likes to do that. And all of his kids um, apparently like to do that, too. So, yeah. Just, ow! Just know if you get a um, Huckleberry kid from us that um, the possibility of them whenever they get a little bit older uh, on head, like, scratching their head and stuff is, is pretty good. So, no Tilly. <laughs> okay, guys, so another um, thing to look for is, so Domino here is pulled, and here's, so... Right here on the top of his head is a little bear. And then right up here, where his horns should be, but because he's pulled, um, his skin has rubbed off. That is from him scratching. And so it's another good reason um, to, uh, to go ahead and, and put silence on your goats to treat for lice and mites. Um, those are just some of the... Hi, Tilly. Those are just some of the uh, things to to look for. And, like, let's see here. Frost is disbudded, but her little head right here, she has been rubbing because um, they kind of, you'll, their hair just kind of starts to part and it's real short and stiff because they've been rubbing it on stuff. And so, uh, that's another sign, you know, for whenever you're looking to see if they might have, um, lice or mites. So, just keep that in mind. Miracle's got a little bit of bare head. It's not just about the head butting, because up there, so whenever they head butt, let's see here. Uh, okay, so on frost here, whenever they head butt, they're gonna they're gonna be showing signs of bareness here versus here. Um, so back here, so whenever they have their head down, like. Like back here, past their ears, that's where they're gonna rub. And I mean, you, and it's just that time of year. Again, sorry for the barking dog. But you can tell uh, with Kit Kat, like, you know, she's, she's got some dandruff going on because she's losing her down. The weather's been kind of wacky. Like right now, it's about 65 degrees outside, but it's a little windy. So, it's enough to have a jacket on, but, you know, that's just because the wind. So, they can do that, or, you know, it can be a, a lice or mite issue. So, um, but yeah, thought I would share. Okay, so this is okay people so this right here is a louse or lice now i am adding this to this video because i didn't um get done editing before i started another video of the um while i was clipping udders i found this and it i mean you can you can wind up finding these whenever you go to clip because they like the underbelly and the pits and stuff where it stays dark and moist. So, for those of you who don't know, that's what it is. Um, let me shine some light on this thing. 
I don't know if that helped. I don't know if that helped or not. <laughs> but, I mean, that's pretty much what they look like up close and personal. Uh, so, that's why you use the silence to treat your goats. And humans cannot get these. I just want to make sure and reiterate that to where, you know, whenever you think of lice on, on your kid's hair if they come home from school, this, this is not it. Those look totally different. Humans cannot get these. But yeah. Okay guys, so, uh, to end out this video, I wanted to let y'all know, uh, cause I was going back through editing, I didn't have an ending, and so I wanted to show y'all, um, okay, so, I showed what the lice looks like, um, and all of that, which, uh, no big deal, uh, don't freak out if your goat has it, it's usually in the winter months or early spring to where they get it, and it's totally okay, um, but, I was working on Ellie for just a minute and getting her prepped because she's due here soon. And so I wanted to show you because she does have a lice um, infestation going on. So whenever that happens, we're not going to use our silence. We're going to use our ivermectin. And the ivermectin is injectable. It's sub-Q. Um, we typically do it uh, on their left side. But since she just got her CDNT, we will probably do it... Um, <laughs> A little bit higher up so we're gonna do that but I wanted to show you really quick what the lice infestation looks like okay so we were brushing out um, down and everything and then these little specks that keep popping up these are all lice and right yep and so um, we're gonna just do the uh, injectable ivermectin instead of versus the silence but I wanted to show or share with y'all. Okay, guys. So I hope that y'all liked the video. Um, please hit that like and subscribe. And uh, we will catch y'all next time.